Hi everybody, Gary Francione for the Abolitionist Approach. What we do to and with non-human animals provides a model, a blueprint, a template as it were, for our violation of the fundamental rights of humans. What we do when we violate human rights is we animalize other humans. We, we turn them into animals. We characterize them as subhuman, as animals. And then they're just animals. We can do what we want to with them because we can do what we want to with animals. We can exploit animals. We can exploit humans that we animalize. If you look at the history of human rights violations, you see that we've done this time and time again. We characterize humans as subhuman, and then whatever we do with them is morally justifiable. In some cases, we characterize it as obligatory to, do, to, to exploit them because they are subhuman. So if you look at race-based slavery or sexism or any, any form of human rights violation, you almost always find uh, instances where we've animalized uh, humans and and basically made them subhumans and thereby justified our exploitation of them. Now look, I think that even if we didn't do that, our exploitation of non-human animals would be morally wrong. It clearly is morally wrong, even if it doesn't have the effect that I'm describing. But it clearly does have that effect. What we do with animals provides a model. It is a blueprint. It is a template for our violation of human fundamental human rights. So yet another benefit of not exploiting animals is taking away the very basis, the very foundation for our human rights violations. So think about that. Uh, it really militates in favor of going vegan and recognizing the fundamental rights of non-human animals not to be regarded as, as resources for human use. Go vegan. It's so easy for you to do it, and it's so difficult for the animals if you don't. For information about going vegan, visit our website, howdoigovegan.com. Thank you very much for listening.